Hello there, Pierre Rupé here. If your engine overheated and you notice no coolant leak, then the engine may be burning the coolant inside the combustion chamber. In this video, we're going to explore the symptoms of a blown head gasket. Stay tuned. In this case, the engine needs to be cold, and I cannot stress this enough. Don't do this when the engine is hot because when you open the coolant, it will, when you open the radiator cap, the coolant will instantly boil. You don't want boil coolant on your skin. Please make sure the engine is cold before you do this. So, what you need to do is to locate the radiator cap or the high pressure coolant reservoir cap. Open it and make sure that you have coolant in there. If you do not have any coolant, you need to add coolant the way I'm demonstrating right now. Again, the engine needs to be cold. It might take some time before the cooling system reaches its full capacity and you need to add coolant as needed. It's going to go down and then you need to top it off, you know, as the coolant goes down. So um, it depends on how much coolant um, was being burnt into the combustion chamber, so you need to add coolant as needed. The cooling system is full, go ahead and start the engine. And if what I'm going to be demonstrating right now happens to you, then you more likely have a blown head gasket. Take a look. The pressure from the combustion chamber is what forced the coolant violently out like this. And as the engine keeps running, you can hear the coolant boiling and you see the vapor coming out of the radiator cap neck. So that suggests that, uh, that it has a blown head gasket and the leak right here in that gasket into the combustion chamber is, is it's not a small leak. This is this is a significant leak right there for you to have all that vapor coming out of it and that coolant instant instantly boiling, you know, from the explosion from uh, from the combustion chamber. So right here, this is the diagnostic of this a blown head gasket. If you are the end user, the owner of this vehicle, and that happens to you then you don't have to pay for diagnostic at the shop. You can just go there and tell them that, hey, you know what? I need a I need my head gasket replaced because I think it's blown. So that, that will avoid a lot of diagnostic fees. And if you're not sure you have a car that's exhibiting those symptoms and you're not sure what's happening, I, I hope this video helped you out. So these are the symptoms of a blown head gasket. We didn't need any special tool. We didn't need... Um, any solution in order to know there's hydrocarbon in this those symptoms right here is a dead giveaway that you have a blown head gasket hope this helped you out please if you think this video will help somebody else just go ahead and share it and if it helped you out like it and subscribe thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one